Notion projects isn't anything brand new. Notion have had many types of features that allow you to manage your projects like tasks, documents, and much more, but they're enhancing that experience in this brand new Notion projects release. Today, we're going to overview what's new with Notion projects, diving into some of the features and exploring how this is going to affect their project management ability and potentially your project management base within Notion. Welcome everyone, if you're brand new here, my name is Francesco. I cover productivity tools here on Keep Productive. You can subscribe, but if you're in the hunt for productivity tools, you can find them all over on Tool Finder, which will be linked in the description below. If you also want to dive a little bit deeper into what Notion projects are and a little bit of a guide into how they operate, then you can find it on Tool Finder as well. Charlotte has just created a piece that dives a little bit deeper into this new release. You can find all links in the description or comments below. So let's dig into Notion projects. And this is something that Notion have been working on for a little bit of time now. It's currently been in beta, but naturally releasing today. So of course it will be out in the wild as we speak. And there are sort of three core new features and those are Notion AI improvements, consolidation to the experience of managing projects, and a little bit of customization that Notion have introduced along the way. Now, obviously, the first is to talk about the AI abilities, and they're introducing something called, well, it's basically AI properties, allowing you to essentially, any view you have, you can turn a property into an AI fill area, which means you can prompt it based on a few different factors. Now this can save a dramatic amount of time when managing things like documents, tasks, and projects, because it can help summarize something, it can help fill out key actions or even tasks, or summarize things that might be helpful that you may automatically do afterwards. Now this is a fairly new feature that we're actually covering this week later on the uh, Keep Productive channel. Naturally, it's actually a feature that everyone can use, but this is expanding into Teams much further. And from some of the previews, this custom AI autofill can be quite helpful for managing stuff. You can also set up autofills for existing properties you already have. Now, aside from that, project management is getting obviously slightly more refined in the AI release, which including the ability to draft and edit project plans, results, and more, being able to really refine that much further. Now, Notion AI actually has been out for some time and has been doing a pretty good job of that. So that's good to see that they're expanding that into properties. Now, when it comes to consolidation, Notion don't just want you to manage your projects here. They wanted to manage every aspect of the project. And one of those aspects is a process called sprint planning, which is something that you can utilize in development teams and many other teams as well. And it's something that a lot of people be asking for a more enhanced experience in Notion for some time. Well, Notion have introduced that, although being in beta, this ability to manage sprint plans and issue tracking is now available. And this new addition really goes a step further in allowing you to complete your sprint and move on to the next sprint using custom setups as well. It also help you because it's got pre-built setups, which is part of Notion projects, which helps you and your team to just get going from the ground running, which is really nice. And when you set up your Notion, this is one thing they've introduced, is actually the ability to customize what you want to see. So you can choose a few factors and basically Notion will build those templates for you to get you started, which is really cool. Now the expansion of these new features actually span across multiple areas, marketing campaigns, roadmaps and calendar for being able to view uh, multiple different boards and even company planning as well. But a lot of these features that Notion are reintroducing in Notion for projects have been here for some time, despite one additional feature. And this I think is a direct attempt to try and chase after linear, and that's IDs. IDs are more helpful for utilizing issue tracking, and it's something that Notion have added as part of a property. This is obviously a small update for some people, but a massive update for those who are using that type of planning and coordination. So AI has been introduced and refined in properties. The new Sprint beta is now available and a general sense of improved onboarding is introduced into this notion, as well as ID abilities. Now, in terms of 
what's brand brand new notion are essentially now packaging this up into a much more comprehensible experience so it's not necessarily that this whole new release is brand new and full of features whilst there are some features it actually only repackages the concept of notion projects for those who are potentially going into this i did actually see despite only seeing this on the product page um not in the actual pre-release that i got access to is actually something where it enhances your workflows in terms of setting up these custom workflows and um, these sort of knock-on effects that are part of it. This is something that I think uh, I think I saw Benjamin Borowski uh, release on Twitter, and it's something that uh, I think is going to be available for those who are using Notion projects. But I haven't seen a heavy push on this new release anyway. So that's Notion for projects. It's not anything new, but there are new elements in it, and it definitely introduces a really much more refined experience for those who want to use Notion for projects. So if you're new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Hit subscribe, and we'll dive into the AI properties later next week, or this week. And naturally, if you want to find a productivity tool, you can hunt for them over on Toolfinder. Thank you very much, folks, and I look forward to diving into future features with you. So I'll see you in a future video. Cheerio, folks. Thank you.